Welcome to Insurance Agent Training in a little slightly different way today. Every Monday at 2, last week Lauren did it, the week before I did it, we're changing it up. I'm leaving for Jamaica in the morning, but today we're going to talk about what is your weekly system. You guys know my big believer in having a system. If I had to pick one single word that a business had to have in place to be successful, I'm telling you what. That word would come top of mind more than any other word on planet Earth. So what is your weekly system? When you think through a system, what does it look like? You guys know that I've got my triple S system that I talk about a lot, whether it's set, sit, and sell. I believe minimum every agent should set 15 appointments every single week. I believe that every agent should sit with at least 10 of those appointments every single week. And I also believe that every agent should sell at least, I would say probably, I would say probably at least three, but I always say five. I always generally, I'm, I mean, I think you eventually, when you've got your appointment process down and you're getting in front of people, I think you can eventually get to where you're about a 50% closing ratio, if not better. Some say, some agents say, well, dude, I'm a 90% closing ratio. I mean, it's either the warmest lead on the planet or they're just full of it. Or, take it a step further, you could be, you could be using all cold traffic, like how I started in the business when I was 19, I was cold calling. I was cold door knocking, so my closing ratio was nowhere near. My closing ratio was like, 20, like 15, 20, 25 percent because it was cold traffic. And so, the best, the biggest thing is what is your system? What does it look like? And how do you get there? I'm also a big believer in tracking numbers. I'm also a big believer in tracking numbers constantly. So, if you say, Hey, Cody, I say you work leads in general, but let's just say I'm also a big believer in breaking down numbers. So, how many calls? do you have to make? How many conversations are you going to have? How many answer? And then out of those, how many appointments will you end up setting? So think through that real quick. So if, you think, if we think about it real quick, if your goal is to set 15 appointments every single week, but let's say that you only set an appointment one out of every three conversations that you have as an insurance agent. That means you need to have 45 conversations a week on the telephone trying to book an appointment. Let's take it a step further. Out of those conversations that you have, how many dials do you have to make before someone picks up the phone? Maybe it's another one out of three. Maybe it's one out of every two, whatever. We'll, we'll use worst case scenario. We'll say one out of every three people that you call pick up the telephone, okay? So you do the math, that's 135. So let's just say hypothetically, if you had leads to work, you would make, and, and you could say, I mean, you, you could have called 25 leads five and a half times, six times, and you're gonna get to that number. So hypothetically, let's just say, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Hypothetically, let's just say that you made 135 dials. Out of those 135 dials, when you pick up the phone 135 times, I mean, it isn't even that hard. You're like, dude, man, you know, 135 sounds like a lot. We talked about something the other day where an agent literally would make about, I mean, I would say the average agent makes about 15, 20 calls a week. And then we wonder why they only end up sitting with two or three people every single week. So if you make 135 calls, Let's just, say, let's just say that about 45 of those would actually pick up the phone. One out of every three would pick up the phone. So let's take it a step further. Out of 45 people that you talk to on a weekly basis, you end up setting 15 appointments, okay? Out of, and again, that's one out of every three that you talk to, you're able to set. So really, in theory, it's about one out of every nine dials when you're calling leads. And 135 sounds like a lot. But guys, we've got 168 hours in a week. Literally, we're talking about, I mean, you can break this up and make 45 calls. You can make 40, we can break this thing up 
and make 45 dials three days a week. That's not that hard because if you think about selling five, okay, let's you, let's use let's let's be super conservative and say that you only sell. Let's just say that you only sell three, okay? Say you sell three. Out of three, what's your general average premium going to be? Probably about twenty-one hundred and sixty bucks, somewhere in there, of annual premium. Who wouldn't like to make $2,000 every single week and all you knew that you had to do was pick up the phone 135 times in a week? Dylan, if you knew that you were going to make two grand, all you had to do is pick up the phone 135 times, you'd probably do it, am I right? Dylan's an overachiever. He'd probably pick up the phone 270 times because he knew it would equal four grand. It's all stats. It's all numbers. But... Most of the time, we never hit this number, so therefore we never hit this number, so therefore we never hit this number, you following me? So therefore we never hit this number, so therefore we never hit any of these other numbers because we don't pick up the phone enough. If we keep it super simple and we just think through picking up the phone so many times every single week, you, say, you could say, hey, dude, I'm not good on the phone. I only set one out of every five. When I talk to someone, one out of every five book with me, I suck. Wonderful. You're still going to set nine appointments every single week. You're still going to sit with six, and you're still going to sell two or three. And you could say, well, but I want to set with 15. Then call more. If it's one out of every five, then you take 15 times five. That's 75 conversations. If one out of every three pick up, you do the math. That's 225 dials that you need to make on a weekly basis to hit your number. This business is not rocket science. Most people never do this, so no, nothing else ever falls into place. You need to be someone that figures out the numbers in your business. If you know that if you dialed 135 times, you would end up with $2,160 in premium written for the week. And that's only, you say, Cody, that sounds high. That's only at a 30% closing ratio because you're going to sit with 10. And that's, all, that's if you sell three. That's being uber conservative. Let's think through the fact that what is this number in your world and what can you do to do this every single week? I want you to think through numbers, and I want you to be so meticulous, and I want you to think through a system so much that whenever your week happens and you're, you're like, okay, here's what I want. Have a goal, have a target, and then figure out how many times you need to pick up the phone to make that happen. All it is, all it is, is it's dials to conversations, dials to conversations, Conversations to set appointments, set appointments to sits, sits to sales, to, to money. But to get to money, guess what? We got to pick up the phone. Most people hate picking up the phone. Most people are scared to pick up the phone. If you knew, Stephen, if you knew, Kevin, that if you picked up the phone 135 times, that worst case scenario, you'd submit a couple grand a week. You're a six-figure producer, and guess how long it takes to actually pick up the phone 135 times? You want to take a guess? Three hours. So what I'm here to tell you is, guess what? You can spend three hours dialing every single week calling leads, and then the other 165 hours every single week you do whatever you want but be consistent dial for three three hours a week 135 dials 45 dials an hour guess what then you're gonna end up with so many conversations then you're gonna end up with so many set appointments then you're gonna end up with so many sits then you're gonna end up with so many sales and you could average you're gonna end up with so many 
so much commission, so much premium, but you've got to start somewhere for you to figure all this out. When I think through systems, when I think through making money, Jeremy, I think through what do I need to do and then where does it end up because I did that. Let's not, I mean, because everyone jumps to this and says, okay, Cody, I need to make $2,000 this week. I want to make eight to 10 grand a month. I need to make $2,000 this week. How do I do it? Okay, either work backwards or start at the top and work forwards. But either way, you've got to know your numbers. When you know your numbers, guys, it's so much easier to succeed and so much easier for these amazing things to happen. But you've got to start somewhere. And D. Lawrence, you've got to know your numbers, man. It starts somewhere and it's all about Tony Stokes man it's all about dials you need leads okay buy leads call people have conversations with people set appointments sit with people make sales and get freaking paid and we'll high-five each other at the line of the bank but if you don't start by having people to talk to and actually calling people Nothing else matters. When I think through a system, my triple S system of set 15, sit with 10, and sell three to five, I think through you need to have leads and spend about three hours a week on the phone minimum. That's only about 135 dials, 45 an hour. One out of every three will probably pick up. Maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. Who cares? Figure out the numbers. That's 45 conversations. Say one of every three people that you talk to and you have 45 conversations, say one of every three actually book an appointment with you. I'm not saying you sell them. I'm not saying you sit with them. I'm saying you end up with 15 set appointments for the week. And then from 15, it keeps domino in effect from there. Then you end up with sits. About 66% will probably sit with you. Maybe higher, maybe lower for you. Who cares? Figure out your numbers and then repeat it. And then how many do you sell? Are you a 30% closing ratio? Are you a 40%? Are you a 50%? Are you a 60%? One out of every four homes for you end up in double sales. Whatever it is, figure out the math, what's your average monthly premium, your average annual premium, and then you'll be able to know that if I buy leads and I make dials, then I end up, you, you can end up, because what you can end up doing is you can literally if it's, say, say you're an average agent, say you're a sub-average agent, you have a 30% closing ratio and you sit with 10. Guess what? Literally, if we break all of this even down even further, you had 135 dials. You spoke with 45 people. You set 15 appointments. You sat with 10 and you sold three, 30%. You, you, you're not great, perfect, wonderful. What is, and let's just say that your average average AP is $720 per sale. So you end up with $2,160 of annual premium, wonderful. What is that number divided by 135 dials? 16 bucks. Dude, Tony, Hiram, David, if I knew that I was going to make $16 every time I picked up the phone, don't you think I would pick it up just a little bit more?
if I knew, and these are conservative numbers, I'm better than this 100%, and the chances are you probably are too. Time flies when I'm having fun with you guys. It's been over literally 17 minutes. $16 every time you pick up the phone. 16 bucks. Sooner or later, you can be like freaking Pablo Escobar, just print money. 16 bucks, 16 bucks, 16 bucks, 16 bucks. I mean, Derek, would you pick up the phone if you knew every single time it'd be 16 freaking dollars, dude? Probably not. You'd no. probably quit working here. I mean, is that crazy or is that crazy? But people, the first place, there, there's two, two glaring problems, two big problems. When we talk about this, the two problems, everybody wants to talk about product knowledge. Everybody wants to talk about sales skills. Everybody wants to talk about quality of leads and all this stuff. The two problems and why 92% of agents fail and they never meet any of this craziness is because they don't have prospects to talk to. Number one problem, don't have prospects to talk to. Number two problem, they, they're, they're lazy and they never actually talk to them. And when I tell them, hey, you gotta make $135 in a week, they think I'm nuts. It sounds like a ton, when it would only take three hours, and then we're giving you 165 hours to do whatever the freak you want. The rest of the week, David. It ain't rocket science, but why don't we pick up the phone a lot more, man? I mean, say that I sold six out of 10, because say one out of every four or five would be doubles. Say you, say you were a 40%, half of them were double sales. Then literally, I'm going to end up at $4,320 a week, $32 a dial. That's more like my speed. So every time I get on the phone, I make $32. Cha-ching, $32. Cha-ching, $32. Cha-ching, $32. Cha-ching, $32. Cha-ching. And calls aren't much longer than that. They're really not. It's not crazy, but it all starts at the top. You can't end up with money if you don't have people to talk to. You can't end up with money if you don't pick up the freaking phone and stop being lazy. You can't end up with money if you don't talk to people on the phone. You can't end up with money if you don't set any freaking appointments and you suck. You can't end up with money if you don't sit with anybody and ask anyone to buy. And you can't end up with any money if you don't make any sales. But it all starts at the top and then it, I mean, it just, it just keeps going and then you end up raking in the cash and making some cold hard dough brian can i get an amen or can i get an amen all right any other any questions before we jump off today insurance agent training we've got about 20 minutes i love doing this every monday to motivate you to excite you which is why today is all about what is your weekly system if you miss this i promise you you want timothy chin amen brother dude you want to go, if you miss this you want to go back and watch this out of every video I've ever done, you want to watch this one. If you're a struggling agent, you want to watch this one. If you think you've got a chance to make more money, then you want to watch this one. If you think you can get a little better, you think you've got a little more potential, you want to watch this one. If you think you missed something and you think all these numbers are super crazy and confusing, well, I've been known to do that. But honestly, when you follow it along, it'll make perfect sense. All right. I'm leaving for Jamaica in the morning. I love you guys. Every single Monday, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, we come to you talk about insurance agent training specifically. All you have to do to make a killer amount of money and succeed in this business, have people to talk to, dial the phone, talk to people, set appointments, sit with them, make sales, and make freaking money. It ain't rocket science. Start with these numbers, and I promise you, they'll work out better than whatever you're doing now. 92% of agents fail. They don't have to. See you guys. Appreciate you watching today. What's up, Patricia?